Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So today I am doing a Trader Joe's summer haul. So a lot of these things are in their flyers. So I'm really excited about a lot of the things. Um, a lot of things are vegan, plant-based things. And with this haul, I'll be making several recipes and I'll be showing you guys in future videos. So let's get started. <laughs> the first thing, and this is what's closest to me, so forgive me guys, is uh, the organic coconut milk. So I'm gonna be making something um, with this. I'm gonna use this in a recipe in a future video. The next thing is the crispy jalapeno pieces. And you can put these in salad. On the label it says you can sprinkle them on mashed potatoes, mac and cheese, sushi, tacos, nachos, or veggie dishes. Next thing I got was rosemary croissant croutons. I like to put croutons in my soup. I'll do like um, a tomato bisque, and I love to put croutons in my soup. Next thing I got was a truffle flavor barbecue sauce. And I saw this on their flyer, I haven't tried this, but I saw this on their flyer and they used it as a pizza. Instead of using the pizza sauce, they used the barbecue truffle sauce. So I definitely am gonna try this in a recipe. The next thing is a tomato ketchup with black summer truffle. And I am really, just focusing for you guys, maybe if I get behind it. I definitely want to try this. I am a ketchup girl and I just love ketchup with my fries. I do oven baked fries. I chop them up just, you know, regular potatoes and then I'll season them and then I'll put them in the oven. So I just love ketchup and I just excited about trying it. Yeah, I'm excited about ketchup. Mm. The next thing that I got now, I, I buy this regularly, is a goddess dressing. This dressing is delicious and I have bought it many different times and it's got a V, so it's vegan. Um, so yeah, it's really, really good. Let's see if I can, it doesn't give like a description of it, but it's a really good dressing. It's, it's really thick and I really like it. I also bought, and this is new, the Dill Pickle Mini Falafel. I bought these. And you are just supposed to preheat these in the oven uh, for 10 to 15 minutes or until hot and crispy. Or you can also use the microwave. They're also, these are vegan and a lot of people really like them. So they're savory, they're tangy, pickly. Take on the classic Middle Eastern dish. And you keep these, these are, these are frozen. I was being bad at Trader Joe's today. <laughs> it was a non-dairy frozen dessert chocolate fudge oats bar. And they're also gluten free. These are 100 calories a piece, and I haven't, I've never tried these, but I'm really excited to try them. I've been doing a lot of oat products lately um, because I haven't been able to drink almond milk anymore, so then I switched over to oat milk. So, I mean, I, I like it. I got the Trader Joe's Peanut Butter Caramel Coated Popcorn, and it's vegan also. So this is another thing that I'm really excited to try. I like peanut butter and I like caramel, but them together, we'll, we'll see. Organic, unsweetened coconut chips. And these are going to go, is it focus? Okay, these are gonna go in one of the dessert dishes that I'm gonna be doing for you guys. Another thing that I got was the Joe's quinoa and black bean infused tortilla chips. And I'll be using Trader Joe's um, pico de gallo to go with this and a few other things. So this is another recipe that I'm gonna be doing for you guys. I also got the Campera tomatoes. Now I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but I may not be in fact. But I was really excited about these. I'm gonna put this on, um, I've got some pizza. So I'm gonna chop these or slice these and put this on the pizza. I also got Trader Joe's taco seasoning mix. And this is gonna go on, on one of the recipes that I'll be showing you guys soon. I've never tried cauliflower pizza crust. And I, I was such a pizza girl. But um, I went ahead and bought Trader Joe's brand. And I am going to try it with the tomatoes that I was just talking about. And probably some spinach and some other veggies I just kind of throw on. And it should be really good. I'm excited about this. And okay, this is unthawed. This is the Montelli Organic Pizza Crust. 
and it comes two to a pack and it is organic wood fire pizza crust. So I went ahead and got these. So I'm really excited to try these two, but as you guys know that I'm still, I mean, I've just about made the switch completely to do dairy free. I'm not doing any dairy, but you know, sometimes things are in products. So I think that there may be, I the ingredients earlier. Yeah, it says it may contain milk soy. So, um, yeah, I'm not really sure 100%, but I'm getting there, guys. I'm getting there. The thing I got was a vegan nacho dip, and it's dairy-free. And that's going to also go on the recipe that I'll be making for you guys soon. Then I saw this one, and I was just, like, pumped because it's the vegan buffalo dip. So it's kind of like a take on the, um, the chicken buffalo dip. So I'm really excited about this too. And I don't have a recipe for this one, but I'm just gonna try it. It's plant-based and it's dairy free. Sparkling green tea with pineapple juice. So normally I just drink water and tea. I don't really, you know, do any carbonated things, but this is green tea and it's pineapple juice. <laughs> it's actually 10 calories. Um, so I'm interested to to try it. The thing I got was a limeade, and let me get back here. So I'm going to um, use this limeade to make the dessert that I was talking about. I also got some organic garlic non crackers, and this is the Trader Joe's um, brand. Okay. And I just happened to see these. I have not had corn chips in, oh my gosh, in so long. Um, but I wanted to try these. So this is the Trader Joe's Organic Corn Chip Dippers with a Mexican stack street corn. So I'm really excited to try these. So I also got Trader Joe's Organic Lemonade. And I'm gonna use some, uh, this is kind of gonna be another recipe, but I'm gonna use some fruit um, to make this. This is something new um, that I just saw, like for the summer. It's the Trader Joe's Avocado Oil Spray. I got two non-food items. Um, and I got more stuff, you guys. I just didn't show everything. I got basil to go with the rest on the recipe. And I said the pico de gallo. Um, I got, some more veggie fried rice, which is kind of a staple in, <laughs> in my freezer. So then the non-food item is the Trader Joe's Hand and Body Cream. It's the Midsummer Nights Cream. And I use this all the time. It is, I mean, I love this lotion. It's made with um, Moroccan Argan Oil. And I just, I just, this has just been a repurchase. I don't know, for years. I just, I really love this lotion. And I believe it's still like $3.99, but it is very moisturizing and I love it. And the last thing that I got was a Trader Joe's Mango Tangerine Scented Candle. And this is my second purchase of this, either second or third. I just love this scent. It's just like, I don't know, it's like summer in a candle. I just love it. It smells so nice. I don't know, I usually do like a vanilla candle. I like I like vanilla, but in the summer, I like to do the mango tangerine. I love these candles. So guys, this is my Trader Joe's haul, and I can't wait to make more recipes for you guys. I'm really excited. Um, so yeah, stick around and, and come back and visit. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. I post every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Don't forget to comment below and let me know what Trader Joe's products you like. Guys, stay healthy and happy and don't forget to keep pursuing your goals, plans, and dreams. You got this. Bye, guys.